YouTube, team keep it clean, what's up baby, EDC, what's up my friend, hey, I doubted you, I, I, I for sure doubted you, you already know that, I doubted you would actually close in the deal, we had heard conversations between the Baltimore Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr. dating back to during this past season, and those conversations obviously continued, Ravens were everywhere where Odell was at, and, and, and I, I likened it to when you like this girl, you're interested in her, and she's showing some signs of interest back to you, but you're not completely sure. So then the Ravens, when they offered him the contract a couple days ago, that was the Ravens' version of asking the girl out. But we didn't hear anything after that. And I thought that the Ravens were going to get turned down. And then even this morning, see, team keep it clean. I know Ravens be watching the videos because literally this morning, literally this morning, we made the video talking about how Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't looking good for the Ravens. Unless they made some like final little swoop in, some final crazy change up. But it wasn't looking good for the Ravens because Odell Beckham Jr. was scheduled to meet with the Jets on Monday. And they were to discuss his role, what, that, what all that would be, discuss the Aaron Rodgers led offense, everything that that would entail on Monday. So he was going to visit with the Jets tomorrow. But the Ravens say, whoa, hold up there, buddy. It ain't happening no more. And. Hey, we, 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 I'm sure we're going to talk about the contract later. The contract details are going to come out later, so we'll talk about that then. Before we get into this, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I love y'all. This is a reason for celebration. Again, this shouldn't be it. This shouldn't be it, but this is a good start. We talked about a couple days ago how the Ravens, they were starting to, it seemed like they were starting to make a serious change. Seemed like they were headed in the, the right direction when it came to this whole wide receiver thing with their significant interest, how serious they were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. But me, like a lot of other Ravens fans, we thought that this was going to end in another heartbreaking fashion. We, we thought we were going to get the message that said the Ravens made a competitive offer, but Odell Beckham Jr. chose to sign with the Jets. That's what a lot of us were expecting. And if you weren't expecting that, then, hey, kudos to you. But me and a lot of us were expecting that. We did not expect this to end with Odell Beckham Jr. signs with the Baltimore Ravens. What? That's crazy. But I like it. Now, um, we know the, the, the contract, we don't know the details of it all. We just know it's a one-year deal worth up to $18 million. Now, I know initially that sounds crazy, right? Odell Beckham Jr. coming off the surgery. He ain't played in a whole year, but he got a one-year deal worth up to $18 million. Oh, my goodness. Ravens, are you crazy? Holy overpay. Now, get this. Something that we've been talking about for years on here with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, we know it's, it's not a one-year $18 million deal. That's not it. The, we're going to find out what the, the base of the contract is, what the guaranteed money is. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess like eight, nine mil. Uh, it's not going to be no 15 mil guaranteed. I, I can't see that. There's going to be a lot of not likely to be earned incentives placed in this contract to where it's going to be really hard to get that 18 mil. Now, something, whatever the contract is, I'm sure this contract is probably going to be more than what the Jets would be willing to pay them. And I, I, I would even, I'm not a betting man at all. But I would think that this contract would even be significantly more than what the Jets were going to pay him if they would have got him. Because the Baltimore Ravens, since we know that's not a place where receivers go to thrive. That's not a place where the receivers go and flourish. It's a place where receivers' careers go to die. We've seen it time and time again. So in order for the Ravens to attract an attractive receiver, they're going to have to spend a little more money than somebody else would. Remember the Jaguars last year? The Jaguars, everybody laughing at the Jaguars. Oh, man, they paid Christian Kirk all that money. Jaguars literally reset the entire market. But they had to. They had to. They paid Christian Kirk all that money. They paid Zay Jones all that money. But guess what? Both of them balled out for them. But they had to do that because while Jacksonville, Florida, Florida period is a lovely place to live, it would be a lovely place to play, the team has, it just hadn't been good for a while now. They hadn't been good for a while. So if the Jaguars were going to attract an attractive free agent, they were going to have to spend a little extra money. And they did that, and it paid off for them in a major way. Now the Baltimore Ravens, when it comes to the wide receiver position, when it comes to offensive players, especially another reason, because they don't know what's going on with Lamar. 
What's going on with Lamar? See, you know, we talked about the risk involved. The risk involved for the Baltimore Ravens. Really, the risk involved for another player. Actually, for both sides. For both the Baltimore Ravens and the risk involved for a player joining the Baltimore Ravens who's an offensive player. It's a lot of risk because you don't know what's going to happen with Lamar. This player could be joining the Baltimore Ravens and not knowing who's going to be throwing on the ball. And I always felt like that would be something that would turn the player off, especially an Odell Beckham Jr., a player of that status. But that cash that Ravens were offering him must have been significantly higher than any other offer that he got. It, mu it had to have been. Because when you don't know what's happening with your quarterback, when the receiver doesn't even know, he, like this dude literally doesn't know who's going to be throwing him the ball. Unless we get another announcement. A bigger announcement. Let me check my phone real quick because, okay, I just, I just had a check. I just had a check. See if we got some Lamar news that, that would shake everything up. But anyway, when you are a receiver of this caliber, especially, really any receiver, period, but in a receiver of this caliber, you want to know who's going to be throwing you the ball, especially all the success that you've had throughout your career. You don't want to just go anywhere. So there's a lot of risk there. But I love that the Ravens finally took the risk. I love that they went out and got somebody who's been like that. Now, is he still like that? We're going to see. Obviously, two years ago, he could still play. And now this year, he's a year removed from football. So it's going to be a little adjustment period and whatnot. But Odell Beckham Jr., he'll fit right in. Because what he can do now, too, he played in Todd Monken's offense before. So there's that familiarity with the offense. So he can help himself. He can help Rashad Bateman. He can help Nelson Aguilar. He can help Devin Duvernay if he's still going to be with the team. He can help Tylen Wallace if he's still going to be with the team. He can help James Prochet if he's still going to be with the team. And I don't say if they, those guys are still going to be with the team jokingly because they seriously, now, now things are really in jeopardy. I always thought things were in jeopardy for James Prochet even before they added Nelson Aguilar, before they added Odell Beckham Jr., because I just I don't see the Ravens having him on the roster, unfortunately. Uh, I think he's going to be elsewhere this season. But only time will tell. With Tylen Wallace, I don't think they really put too much putting too much effort in him either. Even though it was, it could have been a, a, a telling story last year because they activated him off of injury reserve. And they could have just left him. But they activated him. They brought him back. And I was like, oh, okay, Ravens. I didn't think you were going to do that. So we'll see. Um... But this is nice. I like it because the Ravens, they jumped out there for Odell Beckham Jr. Um, there is risk. It's a big risk because, hey, you're, Odell Beckham Jr., throughout his career, he's, had, he's missed a lot of time with health concerns. So that, that's a risk. But when he does play, and again, we talked about this all week, Ravens have firsthand experience when it comes to Odell Beckham Jr., seeing him ball out, both on the Giants some on the Browns, too, but definitely on the Rams in that game. So they seen him up close and personal. They, they know what he can do. Now you got him. So that's exciting to think about. It's, 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 it's exciting to think about for me, like, oh, Rashad Bateman, who he continues to show the flashes. It's just about opportunity and just really opportunity, that's it, and just being there. Odell Beckham Jr., you already know what he's capable of. And... It's, I do think, like Odell Beckham Jr., he was respected around the league. I think it's going to take a couple of weeks for him to earn that respect back. But I think he'll be able to get it back quick. As long as he's healthy, as long as things are flowing, as long as that offense is going, I think he will definitely be able to get that respect back quick. You just make a couple plays in a couple weeks, and teams will be like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's that Odell? Oh, okay. There he is. But... This is what we're talking about. You got Bateman. Now you got Odell. It, it, it just makes everybody's job. You still got Mark Andrews. And again, with Nelson Aguilar, we know about the drops. Bateman, he, we even know about the drops with him. Even Odell Beckham Jr., he got his drops too now. Even Mark Andrews, he got his drops. Everybody got their drops. But for me, can you make plays? Can you make more plays than drops? If you can, hey, have at it. Every receiver ain't going to catch every single ball that there is, unless you're Larry Fitzgerald, that, the, only him. But as long as you make a lot more plays than you dropping the ball, that's the most important thing. I was about to say Devin Duvernay dropped, but no, <laughs> he don't drop the ball. He definitely don't drop the ball. 
Um, so this is this is nice. I like it. I like it. And, and for me, y'all know I've been saying I, I want the Ravens to even go overkill. I want I want them to do one one more. Give me give me one more. Whether you're going in the first round, because now nobody's gonna see that coming. Nobody see that coming. Nobody gonna see Ravens taking a first round receiver. No, they ain't gonna see that coming. Ravens, go ahead, do it, do it, do it. If you brave, do it. You you brave with this move? Show me another brave move. EDC, take a receiver in the first. Or you know what'd be even better? Go get another one. Go get another one. How about that? Go get another receiver that's like that. Now, okay, yeah, it probably ain't going to be no, uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, the, the details of the deal now came out. It is $15 million guaranteed. Wow. Did we say that? No, no, no. I said I thought it would be, what did I say? I said, did I say 9 or 10 mil? I think I said 9 mil. No, did I say 10? I didn't say 15 mil guaranteed, I don't think. I, mean, I don't even remember what I said earlier in this video or how much I thought it was going to be. But $15 million guaranteed. Okay. Overpay. It is an overpay, in my opinion. But you got to take those risks. If you, if you are a team, and I, and, I, and I can get why people would be frustrated with the, with the money part. But if you are a team with the Ravens reputation at wide receiver, you have to overpay. You got no choice. Because don't nobody want to come there? And then again, like we said earlier, the Lamar situation. Who would want to come there not knowing who's throwing them the ball? You got to overpay because of those two things. You have to. You got no choice. So did the Ravens overpay? In my opinion, yes, they did. But they, they had to if they really wanted them. But finally, even though I know this is not the top guy, but finally, the Ravens closed the deal. On a significant wide receiver. They finally did it. Is he over 30? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal with injury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, we know Odell Beckham Jr. So, I'm cool with the move, man. Like I said, I don't think it should be it. I don't think the Ravens should be like, all right, done now. I think you still, again, whether you trade for somebody, whether you draft somebody, a stud too, man. And I know I've heard a lot of people say, oh, this year's draft class is a lot of number two receivers. Okay. Okay. Hey, can those number two receivers make plays? If they can, hey, I'm all for it. Now, another thing, too, that we got to talk about, Todd Munkin. How are you going to use Odell Beckham Jr.? Well, you, you didn't use him before. And I think under Todd Munkin, he had his best uh, production, him and Jarvis, I believe. But now it's like, okay, how are you going to do that in Baltimore? This should be a brand new offense. And with this brand new offense being installed, everybody's got a shot. Or at least that's the hope. That everybody got a shot. And we know like the pecking order, the depth chart, people, it's gonna be set. Rashad Bateman gonna be the guy, Odell Beckham Jr. probably gonna be the two. Maybe a one A, one B type of thing. Maybe a JK and Gus Edwards type of thing. Then Nelson Aguilar on the slot, Devin Duvernay still there. And then after that, it's question marks. Well, if Duvernay's still on the team. Because we know there was that talk, but We'll see what they do with Duvernay, whether they sign him to an extension or we'll see. We don't know what's going to happen now, but I like it. I really do. So thank you, EDC, for closing this one. Again, you had to, you had to spend some bread. Hey, but look, 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 look how it feels. EDC, I, I, I hope this feels good. I know this feels good. I know it feels a little weird. I know it feels a little awkward to, to spend some money like this on offense. I know, I know, <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird. I know it's weird. I, is it, no, no, no. Not even to spend this money on offense. Because obviously Ronnie Stanley got paid. Obviously the Pat Ricard got paid for a fullback. Uh, Mark Andrews got paid. But to spend, to spend this money at wide receiver. Ooh, ooh. I know EDC was like, whoa. Ooh. It's going to take a little adjusting. But look, it's going to be a little adjustment period for you, EDC. But it's okay. Get, get used to it. Get used to it. Especially if. If number eight is going to be your guy, I know he ain't allowed to say his name, but if number eight is going to be your guy, yeah, spend that bread on offense now. Let, 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 let's, let's change the way we do things. Let's change it up. Let's switch it up. But this is a switch up for the better. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like the Jets saw when it comes to being in the runnings for Odell Beckham Jr., 
We out.